Well, Anders, what would you say are the main triggers for the developments we're seeing today in smart city technology? If we first narrow down to the green spaces in the smart city where we're active, there are three major technology shifts. We go from petrol to battery, we go from mechanicals, we reorient from mechanical to digital and AI, and we go from manual operations to autonomous operations. And what you see in green space management more and more in the smart city is that you turn robotics, you mm -hmm. turn digital. And the smart city operators, are they enthusiastic? Is it easy Very. to bring them on board? The embracement of robotics, the embracement of digital solutions, the infrastructure, the network's capabilities. But what we see in robotics being the world leader in uh, robotic lawn mowing is that there is an increasing interest to utilize our fleet services where you can actually provide perfect green spaces in sustainable ways with our robotic solutions and you can manage the fleets through your mobile phone or through your desktop remote wherever you are and you can access areas where it's more of a challenge to a manual workforce to work for different reasons. It's really a concentration of innovation. It's the first ever robotic lawnmower with four-wheel drive launched by Husqvarna. It collects data and then sends this collected data to the cloud it also has the capability to receive four satellite constellations so that it adds to precision into the maintenance of the garden. Well, what technologies do you see as important for the development of the smart city, maybe today and as we go into the future? This is a very good question. We foresee that some 50% of the globally man-made green spaces, many of which will be in the city of city related areas, are going to be smart. We think that robotics will play a key role to make that happen. So what would you say are the main drivers for partnering with Ublox? There are actually, I think, three main areas and three main reasons for that. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, Ublox are providing two of the modules to our communication card. Yes. Ublox are recognized for their experience in, for the GPS module and the competence in that area. Yes. So it is the performance of that module as well as the competence by Ublox. But also we, we recognize Ublox as, as a very simple and convenient partner to work with. It's easy to work with Ublox. We at Ublox believe that everything in the future will be connected. And we already develop technologies that are delivering the source for this connected future. What we see uh, in specific are um, trends like urbanization, like Industry 4.0, where more than 2 billion devices will be connected to the internet by 20, 2023, new health applications, or mobility, where uh, more and more cars will be connected to the internet, and also in combination with um, reliable position, positioning technology.